Um, I've been involved in a lot of the, the physical revisions, um, starting with when we were working on the body of the Max. Um, getting that shape to work was an interesting challenge, attaching the solar to the body. Um, it was something we went back and forth with, with designs and the best way to attach it both for strength, um, ease of assembly, and final use. Um, worked on the end caps over and over and over from the tiniest little discrepancies, whether it be where you attach a clip to, where the buttons go, the best way to press the button, um, the length of the switch, how you look at the lens cap, um, how the light comes out of the end cap. Um, I mean, how easy it is to plug connectors in. Yeah, how easy connectors go in, how well they fit, how well it feels when you hold it, um, the, the feel, the texture of the plastic, um, every little detail that no one is ever going to notice. We've worked over 15 different times and found all these different alternatives. Uh, a lot of this originated clear back almost two decades. Um, when we had the idea of, hey, take a solar module and wrap it around a battery, a self-recharging battery. Um, and, and that concept kind of was like, kind of has always carried through in the company as this would be really cool if we did this. And so we, you know, developed a USB AA, what, eight, nine years ago, launched that. And then uh, we got onto this lithium 18650 format saying, this is a really nice battery, great power density. We design a product around it and eliminate everything, right? All the fud or you know, all the fancy this, fancy that, extra packs, you remove the space from it, get it as small as we can, just like the original concept of a solar module wrapped completely around a battery. Yeah, to me, it's it's really, it's been an evolving product that, uh, to ha now have really right in the forefront of us a line of three products that are essentially ready to go to market is pretty cool. It's taken a lot of work, a lot of late nights, a lot of you know design and redesign, and you know someone would get something done and say, "Yeah, it's great, it's good, but it's not great." If we could do this, it would be great. Back to drive, mm -hmm. and we make it great. And so that's, I think that was one of the objectives is to really get it down to the nitty gritty. Every little, little detail, you know. Ryan's done, uh, put up some um, big challenges in that. Not only do we want, you know, to have great form, fit, and functionality, we wanted the performance to be there. And a lot of the electronics we went and tested, stuff was 60, 70, maybe 80 percent efficient, was a really good product. We we're like, let's set the bar higher. Can we do it at 90, 93, 95 on each individual circuit component? And that. That was a target. Um, did I think it was achievable? No, not on everything, but we actually did did it on pretty much everything. You know, 90% plus. And, and it has added to the uh, core cost of the base product. There's non-cheap parts that are, have to be pulled to, to get up to that above 90%. But when you're paying for the solar, uh, to throw that power away just didn't make any sense to me. So that's why I put those design requirements in. One of my favorite ones, Ryan walked around for about a day and a half with a Max once we got it assembled with the solar and he unrolled it and he snapped it as hard as he could to try and get the thing to break apart and I think it was about a day, day and a half before he finally got the solar to break off. You know, sometimes it's easier to just do it by hand as you're wandering around uh, working on other things than it is to try to put a jig together for it. Let's see, like I said, our first uh, our first design like concept meeting on it was June 2015. Um, we weren't working on it full time by any stretch at that point. We still had lots of other projects, but so we've had... I mean, the mechanical loan, we had a full summer. Full summer, well, it was I a mean, mix on, of this on, and on another the, project. Case, so yeah, it was probably for, for one for guy. One, one guy, a full... Full summer was, eh, maybe half of his time was spent refining that case and everything. And then Dan Steeler spent hundreds of hours on the first initial board stuff, and that's yeah. before we really got going on it. Yeah. And since then, it's been... 
because Daly did the block diagram in a rough circuit and then Dan took and refined the circuit while I had him, Daly, working on other lightsaber projects and so uh, many hundreds, probably in the mid That's thousands yeah, of I hours. Thousands of hours of engineering time. Uh, you wanted to go in there and develop the, I don't want to call it the Ferrari or whatever, the loaded model that man just did everything on a much bigger level. And that was the whole concept of the Max. There's a lot of other batteries out there that recharge your phone that are little and do this and do that. This Max product, that's what was so cool and exciting about it. It's like, man, we get to do this. We get to make something with this much, this great power density in it, this big solar panel. Uh, it's just charge your friend, you, you, know, you and your friend's phones and, you know, jumpstart your car almost, you know, I mean, the, the thing just has a ton Can't of power. Can't quite jumpstart your car. We didn't put that circuit We didn't in. put that in, but we Could, thought about it. It, it was on the bench. It was on the bench. It was, it was on the bench. It, it was a honor as a possibility. So, I couldn't quite fit it into this form yeah. factor to allow that to happen. But still, to make something that, with this much power in it, was, that was just awesome. If, if I were to go hunting for a day, I would take this with me and charge my phone. I'd leave it out there. The flashlight would be great. It's got all these little features that are that are practical. It's not an over-the-top model. It, it feels great. Um, and it's something you can throw in your bag because it's still small enough where I don't want to pack up a full-size battery. I don't want to pack up a full-size panel. But if I have something that's easy, it's relatively cheap, um, it, it feels nice, and I can use it for charging a couple phones, it, it's something I'll use. That made it cool to work on, something that... I would want my friends to have versus something that's a little more industrial.